So in this video, we just prove how to demonstrate that a transformation or a given transformation isn't linear. And to prove that a given transformation isn't linear, we just need to demonstrate that either one of these two conditions don't hold. It isn't necessary to show that they both don't hold. We just need one of them to fail. And the moment that one of them fails, they both fail. And so typically you're gonna select uh, the one that you think is going to be easiest to demonstrate or the least work to demonstrate that it doesn't hold. So for example, I could take this transformation, which is a transformation from R3. We have a three component vector. So this is a transformation from R3 into R2 because this vector here is a two component vector. So what I could do is take a, an arbitrary vector from R3 and show that when I scale it and transform it, I don't get the same result as if I transform, uh, sorry, scale a transform vector. So we'll start off by grabbing a vector and a scalar because I'm gonna show that number two doesn't hold. Again, you can show either one doesn't hold, it's your choice. So I'm gonna start here and say let, uh, let u be a three component vector so u sub one, u sub two, u sub three, and we're gonna let c be a scalar. So c is an element of the real numbers. <clears throat> Note that, hey, let's uh, scale a transformed vector. Note that c times the transformed u is equal to c times the vector, now let's transform u. The transformation says take the product of the x and y component. So the product of the x and y components will be u sub one, u sub two, comma, and then the second component is just the y component, u sub two. So there's what the scaled ve vector looks like. So now note, now note that now let's transform the, scalar ve the scaled vector. So now note that if we transform the scaled vector, that's pretty bad, we'll erase that. Now note that if we transform the scaled vector, that just means that we're transforming the vector C distributed into the vector components for u. So c u sub one, c u sub two, c u sub three. That's what that would look like. This is a vector, so use vector notation. There's closing the function notation. And then what would this look like? Well, this would look like, we'll transform this vector now. We take the product of the x and the y components. So we get c u one, times c u sub two, the product of the x and y components and the y components, so c u sub two, which is equal to c times, if we factor out the c, here we see that we have a c times c, so one c would get left behind, c u sub one u sub two, comma u sub two, and what we wanna notice is that this result here is not the same as this result here, that we're missing a scalar c on the inside that we have here. So we see that this is not equal to c times t of u from up here. And because they aren't the same, we don't have a, a linear transformation. So because t did not preserve, it did not preserve scalar multiplication, did not preserve scalar multiplication, T is not linear. And that ends the proof. Again, we didn't need to show that both properties didn't hold. It was sufficient to show one of them didn't work.